Hello, my name is Chris Hammond, and I'm the Director of Training here at .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, we're going to show you how to install .NET Nuke using the Microsoft Web Platform Installer. So some of the steps we're going to be going through is I'll show you where you can download the Web Platform Installer, and then once it's downloaded and installed, you can go ahead and execute the WPI, and then choose .NET Nuke from the available software packages that the Web Platform Installer will install on your local computer. So in order to download the Web Platform Installer, you need to visit Microsoft.com slash web. And a shortcut URL for that is web.ms. Then from here, you're going to click on the Get Started link. Once you go to that page, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And you're going to click on the Get Microsoft Web Platform. And then from here, we're going to choose the Download It Now option. Now once you've downloaded and installed the Web Platform Installer, you can run it from your local computer at any point in time by finding it in the programs menu. And If you go ahead and load the web platform installer after it's been installed, if you have user account control enabled, you'll get a little message here. You need to go ahead and click on yes. And once the web platform starts up, we're then going to choose the web applications tab. From the web applications tab, if we sort by most popular, We'll choose the first option, .NET New Community Edition, and then we'll go ahead and click on Install. Now one of the advantages of the Web Platform Installer is it will go out and download any necessary tools in order for .NET Nuke to run locally. If your computer doesn't have a web server installed, if it doesn't have a, a database server installed, or if it doesn't have the Microsoft.NET Framework installed, WPI will go out and download the, all those resources for you. Now in my case, I've already run through the Web Platform Installer a few times, so it only has to go out and download the .NET New Community Edition. And I can go ahead and click on Accept, and it's going to go download the software, and then it will prompt me to provide a little bit more information for .NET Nuke. And at this point, I can choose where I would like .NET Nuke to be installed. For our purposes, we're going to go ahead and leave the settings as configured here, which means we'll be able to access the website at localhost slash .NET Nuke. Can go ahead and hit continue and the installation process will complete. Now I, I will pause the video here just to let that process complete so you don't have to wait for that to finish and then once it's complete we'll start the video back up. Now once the installation is complete you'll get a message here. We can go ahead and click on finish and we can then exit the web platform installer. We're going to go ahead and open up a browser and we're going to browse to localhost slash .NET Nuke. Now, in order for us to proceed using the automatic installer, which will be an option when we get the .NET Nuke installation wizard, we're going to have to make a change to our IIS server. This is a, a little misconfiguration right now with the way Web Platform Installer works and the permissions that IIS 7 is currently using. What we want to do is we want to use the automatic installation process here. But in order to do so, we need to go into our web server and I can get to the web server by clicking on the start menu and typing INET MGR and that will load up the IIS manager. Then from here I'm going to go into the application pools and I'm going to choose the default application pool and I'm going to go ahead and click on the advanced settings option. From the advanced settings option what we want to do is we want to change the identity that the application pool is running under. We're going to change it from this application pool identity to use the network service account. If we go ahead and click OK, and we click OK again, that will configure IIS to run under a different account, which in Windows 7.5 is going to be necessary so that we don't have to go and configure any special security permissions within SQL Server. I do also have to restart the application pool. Once we restart the application pool, I can go back to the website and reload the page. Now I have to hold shift and reload in Internet Explorer so it doesn't get a cached version. And then when that page reloads, I have the automatic installation option enabled. I can go ahead and check the auto option and then click on next. Now .NET Nuke is going to go through and install locally. It's going to configure all of our database information running a, a local database connected to the Microsoft SQL Server Express instance. The files for that database actually reside in, in an app data folder inside of the .NET Nuke website. Now there's a number of different scripts that have to be executed to install the latest version of DNN. 
And if we scroll down on the page, we can see the status of those scripts as they go through and install. Once it's complete at the very bottom of the page, we'll have a message here that says click here to access your portal. And if we click on that link, that will take us to our newly installed .NET Nuke website. Now in our next video in this series, we'll provide you an introduction to what that .NET Nuke website actually consists of and give you an overview of the platform. You can see here, this is the default homepage for the .NET Nuke Community Edition, which is what we just installed. If you're interested in anything else from a training perspective, I would encourage you to check out our .NET Nuke training. We offer a variety of free videos, as well as paid instructor-led training and custom online or on-site training on our website at .NET Nuke.com. You can use the shortcut URL listed here, bit.ly slash capital D N N capital T R A I N I N G. And it is that is a case sensitive URL. Otherwise you can visit dotnet nuke.com and underneath the resources tab click on dotnet nuke training. Thanks again for watching the video.